to the enormous killer shark. Yeah, we got you, Jonas. Sharks are attracted to panic motion. So we're gonna be fucked. Oh, yes. oh boy, it's going under. Son of a bitch. But you sure as hell no coward. Good job. Everything okay up there? Just a fresh round of chum. So you, you know. Just some teeny tiny eight foot sharks. We've got our attention. Suyin, it's on its way. 50 meters! 50 meters. Back to the boat. Nice and easy. I'm not gonna make it. Jack, you're gonna be okay. Come on. Okay. What was that? What the hell was that? Okay, come on, DJ. No! 
Now what are we supposed to do? I shouldn't even be out here in the first place. Swimming in this ocean. That Whoa. one ate the other. I killed Toshi. It's my friends, man. Okay, can I just point out that this thing is sinking? What are we gonna do now? Where's Mac? We threw him over. <laughs> you gotta work on yourself. Don't worry about the monster, I got you. Stop. Stop. Wait for DJ, wait for DJ. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. 
before you were right. It's not about the people you lose. Thermal scans. All call sign. We are gonna lose some paint in here. Gun crews, keep your head up. Valkyrie 1 6, get your payload ready. Copy, prepare to upload. Staff Sergeant, stage the weapon. Sir, ground has movement. No, sir, it's the flux. Brother, I'm gonna punch a hole. You follow me through. All aircraft, weapons free, weapons free. Break right, cover. Break formation, engage all hostiles. Sutay! Brother, do you read? Uh, 
a bomb run. I read you. Do not attack. You read me now. We got movement 200 meters. You ready? Gotta get out of here! Pressing the target. Stand by to drop. to pop it. How does it feel to betray your own race?
You must lead them. I'm not Avati. Follow it. I will be remembered. And he was my last shadow. Give us Sydney a sad not today. Guess this place. That's my birthday after all. Worth a try. This magnificent animal. <laughs> Kind of hot rod. Really pretty teeth. You too, you. All of it. How? What, are you gonna go back in time before Hammond decided to play God? You can't put it back in the box! Dervanel, huh? You have no idea what she is. Got her back. And he had the technology. <laughs> Get me 50 cc's, Carfentil, and I'm... Sure. Go ahead. Where is that kit? Okay, now listen to me. It's pure. Every cell of her body was created in the most controlled environment. <laughs> what? what are you doing? Save your life! A move.
The ventilation system is down. Can you bring it back? You good? Yeah, you. The ventilation system. We did everything we could.
They won't hurt us. Blue, come with me. In a world with superheroes and supervillains, there's always going to be chaos. In this universe, superheroes are gods and together they assemble to create the Justice League. But among all of them in the DC Universe, only one can be the most incredible. Join me as we rank the most powerful Justice League characters in the DC Universe. What are your superpowers again? I'm rich. At number 10, we have the Green Arrow. You wanna fight the Green Arrow? I'm right here. The wealthy businessman and owner of Queen Industries, Oliver Queen, kicks this list off. Using his skills to fight crime in Seattle, as well as alongside fellow members of the Justice League, the Green Arrow encounters various enemies. Keeping up with superhumans isn't an easy task and we have to commend the Green Arrow for doing so, or should we say trying to keep up with his colleagues. With exceptional martial arts skills, inexhaustible wealth and unrivaled archery skills, he has to cope with not being able to fly, tissue regeneration or dodge bullets at the speed of light. He does manage to survive by employing a range of trick arrows though with special functions such as explosive tipped, grappling hook and tear gas. Moving on to number 9 we have The Flash. Like his colleagues, The Flash also fights villains who are keen to bring harm to Earth and so he defends the planet with his abilities, which consist mainly of superhuman speed. What makes our masked speedster better than the Green Arrow is that apart from running around fast, he can use his ability to create powerful vortices with his body and vibrate at such speeds that he becomes invisible to the naked eye. He lacks the ability to fight in hand-to-hand -hand combat and also doesn't have the capability to fly. At number eight, we have Cyborg. Thanks, Alfred, but I'll take it from here. Uh, d do I know you? Cyborg is a founding member of the Justice League and is portrayed as a mechanical being, half man, half machine. After a near fatal accident, Victor Stone was cybernetically enhanced by his father and has a rich dossier of superpowers. He has the ability to communicate and manipulate all forms of technology and possesses superhuman strength. Though not in the same bracket as other characters still to come on this list, Cyborg plays a huge role in the DC Universe as his teleportation abilities are sometimes used to transport himself and the League to anywhere in the world. Mira comes in at number 7. What? Shouldn't we have written it down first? I memorized it, didn't you? Now most of her time is taken up as a supporting character to her husband Aquaman, however Mera has abilities and strengths worthy of being a superhero. She possesses superhuman strength and powers related to her adaptation to living underwater, such as telepathically communicating to sea creatures. In one of her appearances in Justice League, we see her in combat against Steppenwolf. As an Atlantean, her major weakness is dehydration, as she can't stay for long periods of time without water. At number six, we have Aquaman. You really are out of your mind. I'm not the one who brought a pitchfork. Another founding member of the Justice League, Aquaman has abilities including marine telepathy and being able to swim at speed. We do tend to forget that his body has to be incredibly strong to withstand the vast depths of the ocean the Atlantis sits on. Now he's been known to pack a powerful punch and has mastery of the martial arts. His weapon is known as the Trident of Neptune and holds a vast number of magical powers such as the power to command the sea, basically making huge tidal waves. Right ain't over yet. <laughs> My man! In the fifth spot, we have a new superhero face on the screens, Shazam. What are your superpowers? Superpowers, dude? I don't even know how to pee in this thing. Billy Batson is a young hero empowered with gifts of ancient gods by a wizard. Whenever his human persona says the magic word Shazam, 
who transforms and becomes the super-powered Captain Marvel, a.k.a. Shazam. He then gains the wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. He's still a young boy and lacks tactical skills makes him more vulnerable. You have bullet immunity! I'm bulletproof. <laughs> You're dead. At number four, we have the Green Lantern. Wow. I know, right? <laughs> Hal Jordan, aka the Green Lantern, possesses the single greatest weapon in the entire DC Universe, a lantern ring. Also known as the Power Ring, it's a piece of jewellery that grants the wearer incredible powers and abilities by harnessing willpower. The ring also allows the bearers to travel very quickly across interstellar distances. Now the fact that the power of the ring doesn't allow healing makes Green Lantern inferior to the likes of Wonder Woman and Superman. Moving on to number three, we have Batman. Where are you? Here. The third spot goes to Bruce Wayne, the wealthy American playboy, philanthropist, and owner of Wayne Industries. Batman is a masked vigilante with a sworn oath to justice fueled by witnessing his parents murder as a child. Now, he doesn't have any inherent superhuman powers, so relies on scientific knowledge and detective skills. He's a master at hand-to-hand -hand combat and has inexhaustible wealth, which gives him access to advanced technologies. Having the ability to function under great physical pain and resist most forms of telepathy and mind control sets him apart from the rest. He may not be superhuman, but as a Justice League founder, he's a key part of the team and DC Universe. It's not who I am underneath. What I do that defines me. At number two, we have Wonder Woman. Gifted with the powers of the gods and with similar abilities to Superman, including strength, speed, and durability, Wonder Woman's one of the most powerful superheroes in the DC Universe. She's highly skilled in hand to hand combat and can also achieve flight. Apart from that, she comes armed with an array of advanced technology, including the Lasso of Truth, a pair of indestructible bracelets, and a tiara that serves as a projectile. She's a powerful, strong-willed character who doesn't back down from a fight or a challenge. And so, the top spot for the most powerful being in the Justice League goes to... Superman. Tell me. Do you bleed? As a superhero and founder of the Justice League, he has every power you can imagine from super strength, flight, super speed, invulnerability, and even heat vision and super breath. Being a Kryptonian, Superman ages much slower than a human. And despite his amazing powers, it's usually shown that his strong sense of morality has kept him in check over the years, preventing him from becoming a super-powered tyrant. His effort in taking down Steppenwolf is testament to his abilities. His known weaknesses are Kryptonite, which nullifies and incapacitates him with pain and nausea, as well as magic spells or enchantments. Apart from that, the Man of Steel can basically do whatever he wants. Well... I believe in truth, but I'm also a big fan of justice. Those are our top 10 most powerful characters in the Justice League universe. What do you think of that list? If there's any particular video that you want us to create, then comment below and let us know. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell so that you never miss any of our new uploads. Don't forget we'd love it if you'd visit our online shop, The Regent Stores. You can pick up loads of clothes, accessories and merchandise related to movies, TV series, games and anime. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on The TV Regent.
numbers and you're not that great, man. Stop what you're saying, stop what you're making. Everybody here knows that you just fake it. Nah, I don't wanna hear it anymore. I don't wanna hear it anymore. All these fucking thoughts are not what I need anymore. I'm about to shut the motherfucking door on all you poor ass haters with your heads in the clouds. Talking out loud, so proud. You better shut your goddamn mouth before I do more speak out. It's about to hit never south. gonna make it. There's no way that you make it. Maybe you can fake it, but you're never gonna make it. Aren't you just gonna take that? Make them take it all back. Don't tell me you believe that. Aren't you just gonna take that? Or will you fucking fight that? Full cleanup just to get a status We're report. We're investigating. Where? Where did it go down? It's 20 kilometers west of Cebu. Did we at least? <laughs> the astronauts are still alive. You know, that's a biblical name. You know what's always impressed me about that story? It isn't Abraham's sacrifice, it's Isaac. Isaac is still the hero of this story. But look around you. He didn't keep his end of the bargain, Isaac, so now it's down to you and me to put this right. And this time, Ahmad abandoned us. Listen, I got a, I got a guy. I'm gonna call him and uh. Oh. What is wrong with me? Took it? We don't know what happened. Liver functions too. 
I knew it. Come on. You're fired. Can you tell? Great, thank you. I'm, I'm yes. sorry. Yeah, sir, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yes. Oh my God, Eddie, what did you did what? Yeah, I got, but I mean, I think I may have been infected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Eddie, Eddie, you look like you're in a bad way. Oh, yeah. Eddie, sit down. Okay, okay. all right. Eddie, 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 Eddie. Ah, that's no good. Sorry, are you all right? Ah. Whoa. Please don't. No. Eddie, please. Oh. I'm patient. Much better. You are insane. Eddie? Eddie, can you hear me? Sedative. Where is that? Ann is not here right now. We're going to run some tests. <laughs> Hey, what's happening in there? Hey, hey, hey. Okay. coming out. You all right? Yeah. One, two. Dr. Lewis. Oh, boy. hey, Mrs. Ned Freddy, how are you? Oh, I just. Dog. Okay. Love the dog. Can't have the dog. Sorry. Gemini. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. All right, that I can find. Hey. Our one. Everything was fine. So why does the human continue to waste away? Oh, watch this. Okay. He was stabilizing. What happened? He's approaching acute liver. Thought you'd like some good news. Hungry. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Stops. Oh, hey, Ann. Eddie, hi. How are you feeling? Oh, done. Also, I'm, I'm here in, uh... I'm hearing a voice. Uh, auditory hallucination. I climb a really, really, really tall tree, but super, super fast. Lost me. Listen, Eddie, um, we are going to get you on some meds, and we are going to clear that out. Yes. Never gonna... I'm just going to call you back, all right? Thank you. Thank you, Dan. Thank you. Thank you, both. Sure, man. Yeah. I'll just turn right down. Thank Sorry. you. Thank you. We've all been troubled. It's the nature of what we do. I can't do that. We can't fix things unless... You know that, right? They're gonna die unless we bring them back here. Or you... And then we will do things differently. Will you try any prop? <laughs> Hey, Eddie. Who the hell is this guy? I'm gonna need Mr. Drake's. I know I am not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Take him down. Carrying the symbiote. Are you seeing this? He's achieved symbiosis. Trees. Eddie. You're just not real. You're in my head. Because you're just a parasite. Parasite? I got him. He's in the alley behind the Schuler building. Oh, 
you. You are welcome. As we usher in a new year, we leave behind epic moments from some of the best movie releases of 2018. 2019's already set its standards as release dates from various film franchises have been announced. Here are the top 10 blockbuster films that have moviegoers shifting all their focus. Starting us off at number 10, it's Aladdin. The upcoming Disney remake of Aladdin has fans excited as it introduces fresh new faces to the cast. The live action film brings back memories and promises to be epic. The movie's lead roles are depicted by two rising stars, Mina Masood as Aladdin and Naomi Scott as Princess Jasmine, along with Will Smith joining the cast as the genie. Being one of the best musical fantasy films of all time, the popularity across the globe is unquestionable. Guy Ritchie is directing and it's scheduled to be released on May the 24th. 10,000 years will give you such a crick in the neck. Number 9 sees us change gears with Us from the thrilling mind of Jordan Peele. Us is the second movie written and directed by Jordan Peele and stars Lupita Nyong'o and Winston Duke as couple Adelaide and Gabe Wilson, as well as starring Elizabeth Moss. It's a psychological horror following the couple and their children on vacation at a beachfront house where Adelaide grew up. She faces a hard time going back after a traumatic experience there and has a bad feeling that something will happen to her family. After four masked strangers appear at their doorstep, the family have to fight to stay alive. The anticipation of this film comes from the exceptional work of Jordan Peele in Get Out in 2017, and judging by the teaser trailer, moviegoers will be hoping it lives up to its standards. Us is set to be released in March 2019. They won't stop until they kill us. Until we kill them. At number eight, it's Dark Phoenix. Dream. You are not broken. The upcoming Marvel release has fans excited as they wait to enjoy the journey of one of the X-Men's main characters. We'll see Jean Grey, aka the Phoenix, played by Sophie Turner, transform into a powerful mutant with telepathic and telekinetic powers. Phoenix loses control of her abilities on a rescue mission in space, setting off a chain of events that lead to the X-Men having to subdue Professor X's favorite student. It promises action-packed scenes as the trailer has rightly set the tone. This is the 12th installment of the X-Men franchise and will be released on June the 7th. You're always sorry, Charles. 
and there's always a speech, and nobody cares. There's still hope. Moving on to number seven, we have The Lion King. The much-anticipated premiere date of Disney's Lion King has been announced with the release of a trailer. The Jon Favreau-directed movie is a photorealistic computer-animated remake of the 1994 classic. Even though the trailer was met with mixed reactions, the hype and interest surrounding this movie is clearly evident. Moviegoers are divided on whether the movie will deliver, but going on the director's previous success in The Jungle Book, things are looking bright. The film has some huge names attached to it, including Donald Glover, Beyonce, Seth Rogen, and Chiwetella J4. The Lion King is set for release in July. At number six, it's Quentin Tarantino's crime thriller Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Quentin Tarantino's ninth film will give us the chance to see Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio starring alongside one another. Based in LA in the summer of 1969, the movie follows the lives of a TV actor and his stunt double and is set to the backdrop of the Charles Manson murders, an infamous cult leader who along with his followers killed a popular actress and her friends. Now, from the plot summary, we learn that the TV actor is the neighbor of the slain actress. Sony studio chief Tom Rothman states that it's the best screenplay he's read in 30 years. We can expect some violence and neo-noir accents together with the dialogue that accompany every Tarantino film. No one said this job's supposed to be easy. <laughs> Nobody said it's supposed to be that hard, neither. At number five, we have Star Wars Episode Nine. The Force is with you, young Skywalker. This is the final chapter of the sequel trilogy after the franchise relaunched in 2015 with Episode 7, The Force Awakens. Fans of the film are eager for the release, as hints from the production team suggested that the setup of the film is a year after its 2017 predecessor, Episode 8, The Last Jedi. Co-written and directed by J.J. Abrams and featuring a cast that boasts a number of award-winning actors such as Daisy Ridley, Lupita Nyong'o, John Boyega and Adam Driver, Episode 9 will seek to surpass the success of The Force Awakens. We'll also see the return of Billy Dee Williams as Lando Calrissian. At four, it's glass. It's amazing to meet you. <laughs> Good for you. Glass is another masterpiece from director M. Night Shyamalan, which brings together the narratives of two of his standout originals, Unbreakable from 2000 and Split from 2016, in an all-new comic book thriller. Having dangled the prospect of a trilogy after the success of Split, fans were more than thrilled to find out it's in production. The trailer does little by only giving us a hint of the plot and we're really left craving more. Uniting the cast of Unbreakable and Split, Glass sees Bruce Willis, Samuel L. Jackson, James McAvoy and Anya Taylor-Joy team up for what may be M. Night Shyamalan's most complex film yet. It promises to be unique as well as entertaining, bringing out the connection between reality and fantasy. I need your abilities to get us all out of here and show the world we exist. Spider-Man Far From Home comes in at number three. Following the success of Spider-Man Homecoming, Marvel Studios is set to release the sequel titled Spider-Man Far From Home. With director John Watts returning behind the camera, Spider-Man, a.k.a. Peter Parker, played by Tom Holland, is set to encounter one of his most formidable foes, Mysterio, played by Jake Gyllenhaal. You don't want any part of this. Mysterio often makes Spider-Man question his own senses and perception of the world around him, relying more on psychological and chemical weapons than physical attacks. The film promises a lot of adventure as some scenes are shot in Europe and Spider-Man will also have a new suit, which will no doubt have fans anxious and excited. You got gifts, Parker, but we have a job to do. Are you going to step up or not? At number two, we have Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel is the first film by Marvel with the lead hero played by a female. Directed by Anna Bowden and Ryan Fleek, Captain Marvel aka Carol Danvers will be portrayed by Brie Larson. 
She's a US Air Force fighter pilot who gains powerful abilities after her DNA fuses with that of an alien species referred to as Kree during an explosion. The film set in the 90s and explores the hero's adventure in the time before Captain America and Iron Man came to prominence. Some notable appearances in the film include Samuel L. Jackson as a young Nick Fury. Being an ally and teammate to the Avengers over the years, it'll be a great addition to the Marvel superhero movie collection. I'm gonna end it. At number one, we have Avengers Endgame. This is gonna work, Steve. I know it is. Because I don't know what I'm gonna do if it doesn't. The fourth part of the Avengers is probably the most awaited movie of this year as the prequel, Avengers Infinity War, left us with one of the most talked about cliffhangers as well as no idea about the fate of most of the characters. The first trailer shows several characters including Tony Stark drifting in outer space and running out of supplies, Captain America seeking to help the rest of the team and Black Widow and Bruce Banner joining forces to find a way to relinquish the team members who disintegrated into the universe. There's no clear plot on the story at the moment and the fans are bound to have a million theories behind what we're going to see when the film finally releases on April the 26th. All we can do right now though is wait in anticipation. Dr. Banner, your work is unparalleled, and I'm a huge fan of the way you lose control and turn into an enormous green rage monster. Thank you for joining me in ranking the most anticipated movies to come out this year. Don't forget we'd love it if you'd visit our online shop, The Regent Stores. Here you can pick up loads of clothes, accessories and merchandise related to movies, TV series, games and anime. Make sure you check out the description because you can find the link for the store there. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on The TV Regent.